celebrations, the family celebrations, for the family, mm-hmm. are you able to identify a, or the conquest leading to you? What happens? The doctors are warming these conversations. So we started off by looking at the positive feedback given by the families and patients, right? To say how the doctors that did talk about you know, these difficult things, talk about what is going to happen, what to expect, you know, how serious the patient is, etc. How we benefited the family and the patient. Then we looked at feedback on how it negatively affected the patient and the family when doctors avoided have these conversations, right? But I have a question for you and I want you to type out what you think. Why do you think doctors avoid difficult conversations? Just tell us why do you think it would be uncomfortable? What, what makes it uncomfortable? So, the photo is correct, and I'd love to hear from the rest of you whatever do you think it is. I think it is because the doctor feels like the patient, the patient's family will blame them, yeah, for not being able to treat the patient. Yes, because mm-hmm. they're afraid of blame, mm-hmm. they feel helpless, you must do it, all of you are on the bottom. Often these are the reasons that my doctors would hold. Okay? They feel like they're going to make it worse, they feel like they cause the patient to panic, etc. Also, a lot of doctors feel they don't have the competency to have these cognitive conversations. They don't have the confidence. Okay? They don't know how to have these conversations. <coughs> so, they're just avoiding. And the avoidance behavior is so bad, it sometimes translates into even avoiding the patients. They spend so little time with the patient, they just go there, do whatever is required, and then they leave. Okay? So they don't spend any time holding the poor, having conversations, etc. Okay? So how do we go about having these conversations? So first, Guidelines. Be respectful. Be honest. These, these are all attitudes. Okay, what do we mean by respectful? Right? Means whatever the person's religion, spiritual beliefs, etc. It may be vastly different to your own. We need to always have respect for their viewpoint, for their belief system. And remember, it is not about you, it's not about your religion, your spiritual beliefs, your viewpoint. It's about the patient. This is their experience. Okay, so always be respectful. Charles says, why does my face always look so oily? Like, um, there's no... Anyway, it's fine. Class has ended now. It is quarter to three. And I'm just going to continue studying Anapath. As you saw, I was simultaneously studying Anapath while I was attending the lecture. Um, this course doesn't really need a lot of note taking. I'm just going to base off my knowledge from the notes. And the class was recorded. So if I want to make notes from a certain part, I'll just go back and check. Because I'm really focusing on Anapath because I'm writing this friday so yeah, i'm just going to continue studying in a path until 4 p.m so we had class for hours three hours about three hours yeah i am tired i'm currently just doing a mini closet declutter and taking out things that don't fit me and clothes that i haven't worn and i don't think i'm gonna wear anymore and some of them i'll be donating some of them i'll be selling and yeah if you wanna check out my yoga store and see if you'll be interested in any of the pieces i'll be selling it'll be linked down in my video and you guys can check that out
it is currently midnight and I have done about uh, 56 questions out of 101 and I am tired so I'm calling it a day I'm going to sleep and then wake up again and continue with doing these past papers well this past paper i don't know if i'll have time to do the other one because i still have one more chapter to go which is cns so yeah <sighs> i'll see you guys in the next clip Bye. so tired and then i'm gonna get ready to wait for my mom to come fetch me to this that session was very short it was like less than 30 minutes i'm very happy i'm going home today for recess as you saw i'm packing so i'm just gonna continue packing it is now 5 p.m and i'm quickly going to fumigate my room because cockroaches have been appearing more often than i would like like previously when i moved in here so i removed all of my things from this cupboard i'm gonna do that cupboard because i've done this side then hopefully the ones on this side will move there because i don't think i'll have time to remove all my toes oh i can just put it on this side yeah i think i'm just gonna put it on this side and then when they pass, they'll come here and eat that thing. Because my bed is also a mess because I just put everything in here. Uh, I'm going to use this. This is really helpful for killing these things. So I just sprinkle this powder and they die. And I'm going to wear, wear a mask because it smells so bad. My mom's saying that she's going to fetch me soon. That's why I'm doing it now so that... I don't have to stay with the smell for too long so yeah that's what i'm going to do i don't know how i'm gonna show you guys i'll show you after i'm done with it then i'll show you what it looks like this is what it looks like already one died may the others come out and die too oh this thing smells so bad but i did it there here here and up there but i need to get i need to get going now because my mom says she's close by so i'll see you guys when we are in the car i'm at home now with my mom <laughs> <laughs> she's making malamuhodu for dinner show you guys yeah i chopped onions fried them and then from there i add the tomato from there i use this as you has uh, six for all spice. So this is my malam This mohodu was pre-cooked before and then uh, left in the fridge. So now I'm just putting the flavors together for my children. <laughs> and then I've also prepared dumpling. Uh, the dumpling that we do at home, it's, it's a healthy dumpling. You can see, this is not a, just a normal dumpling. Mm -hmm. It's specially done by me. It has got pumpkin seeds. It has got uh, sunflower seeds, chai seeds, sesame seeds. So many seeds to increase the ravage. It's a very healthy dumpling. So my kids will be eating dumpling and maramokodu for dinner. <laughs> Thank you, mama.
Yes, it is shocking. But I assure you, we have a team that is ready to help you get through this. Unfortunately, I have some bad news to tell you. The results came back and it states that you have an invasive molecular cancer. Are you sure? Yes. Does this mean I'm going to die? We have multiple treatment plans that you can go through that will help you um, beat this cancer. You're quiet. Would you mind telling me what's on your mind? Like I'm just trying to process everything and it's a lot to take care of the to make sure that all the cancer is gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 